video we'll study about uh, our measuring device that is meter bridge okay and then we'll study potential gradient and potential meter okay? so meter bridge okay basically uh, it is a uh, it is also known as slide wire bridge okay slide wire bridge okay you can define it as uh, is an instrument which is used for finding unknown resistance of a conductor used to find unknown resistance now uh, and the principle on which it is based is Wheatstone stone bridge okay based on the principle of wheat stone bridge okay so uh, let's see its construction construction okay uh, how will do it okay now <clears throat> drawing its circuit Applied potential V okay. There are metal strips, okay. Resistance has been connected here. Uh, and galvanometer. Now, this is basically a, can say a resistance box. Okay. Right. And uh, this is a this point. You can say A. Okay. The length of this AC is generally. Hundred centimeter, right? And uh, an unknown resistance. Okay. See this uh, R, you can say, and this you can say this part as S. Okay. This R is basically unknown resistance. Okay. Known. We know. Okay. And unknown resistance is connected here. S. This is what unknown resistance. Right now, what happens uh, when current flows? Okay, it will pass through these. Okay, and this galvanometer is. Isko kya kiya jata ki slowly slowly alag alag jagah touch karaya jata ki. This moment pe, for example, yaha pe. Okay, iski reading kya hogi zero hogi. Iska matlab kya? Ye balance situation mein aaya. Iska matlab R upon S will be equal to suppose this. This P part and this is Q part. I mean, the resistance of this part is A B part is Q, P and resistance of B C part is Q. Then, in case of balance wheat stone bridge, you know that R by S will be P by Q. Okay. Uh, and this situation will be when at that moment where your galvanometer will show zero reading. Uh, that means there is no current that will flow through it. Okay. और वो कौन सी सिचुएशन हो जाएगी बैलेंस बी टू स्टोन ब्रिज की ठीक है तभी क्या होता है पी बाई क्यू इज इक्वल टू आर बाई एस हो जाता है ठीक अच्छा आपको पता है पी की वैल्यू क्या हो जाएगी इट विल बी रो इन टू ये लेंथ जो है अपॉन ए ठीक है और क्यू की वैल्यू क्या हो जाएगी रो इन टू अच्छा लेंथ अगर ये एल है ठीक है तो ये क्या हो जाएगी आपकी हंड्रेड माइनस एल ऑब्वियसली अभी मैंने बताया ठीक है इट विल बी हंड्रेड माइनस एल अपॉन ए अच्छा क्रॉस सेक्शन ले दिया क्या होगा सेम होगा सेम ठीक ये किसके बराबर हो जाएगी एस अपॉन आर के अगर पी अपॉन क्यू की वैल्यू निकालें सो इट विल बी एल अपॉन हंड्रेड माइनस एल एंड दिस विल बी इक्वल टू एस अपॉन आर ठीक 
I think it will be sorry R by S. I think it will be R by S. Because if we divide P by Q it will be R upon S. Okay. From here you can get the value of s it will be 100 minus l upon l to r right this will be your value of s that is unknown right okay so this was your introduction about meter bridge okay now uh, we'll see just a second l upon 100 minus l yeah it's right okay now one more concept that i would like to tell you is that why there is a need of high resistance okay uh, in case of voltmeter for measuring potential difference between two points or em of okay Basic construction. There is no smaller MFT and the variable resistance fields okay, of voltmeter. Now, when current I flows through it, okay, what happens? The current I will be E upon small r plus this resistance of voltmeter. Okay. Now, this is a what? This is voltmeter. Okay. Now, what will be the reading of voltmeter? It will be a potential difference across this, right? And this potential difference will be V is equals to I into this resistance. That means I is E upon small r plus capital R into this resistance RV. Okay. Now, this implies what? That your uh, V is less than E. Let me write it V is less than E. Now let's say e, we are taking a random value V is equals to 2 volt and small r is equal to 5 ohm. Now first situation is first situation kya hai apti? RV ki value hum le rahe 100 ohm maal liya. Aur hum do points ke bich ka potential difference nikal na hai. Thik hai? Ya is tarik is karte EMF nikal na hai sel ka. Thik hai? So V kya ho jayega? It will be E into RV upon small r plus capital R just put the value, all the values okay now sorry sorry uh, we are taking this E as 2 volt okay so you will get 2 into 100 upon 100 plus 5 yani 105 so this will be nearly 1.8 volt okay ab kya kar rahe hain hum value badha rahe hain second case mein humne kya kiya rv is equals to le liya 200 ohm इस केस में v की वैल्यू क्या आ जाएगी इट विल बी 2 into 200 upon 200 5 विल बी 1.97 वोल्ट ठीक है तीसरे केस में क्या कर रहे हैं हम वैल्यू और बढ़ा रहे हैं मान लिया हम ले लिया 500 ओम ठीक ओके आर बी की वैल्यू ठीक 500 ओम लेने पे क्या आएगा 500 ओम लेने पे आपकी v की वैल्यू ऑलमोस्ट आ जाएगी 1.99 का मतलब आपने क्या देखा जैसे जैसे हम रेजिस्टेंस बढ़ाते जा रहे हैं वोल्टमीटर का हमारी जो नेट सेल का जो ईएमएफ निकल रहा है या पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इसके क्रॉस वो क्या हो रहा है अपनी ट्रू वैल्यू दैट इज 2 वोल्ट वो क्या हो रहा है अप्रोच कर रहा है ठीक राइट अभी हम अगर आरवी को इनफाइनाइट की तरफ ट्रेंड करा दें सो जो ईएमएफ की वैल्यू है वो क्या आ जाएगी 2 वोल्ट के बराबर आ जाएगी ठीक है इसका मतलब the limit rv tends to infinity e into rv upon small r plus rv is ko rv se divide karte hain so it will be e upon small r by rv plus 1 limit rv tends to infinite so rv tends to infinite karte hain to ye value kya ho jayegi zero ho jayegi it will be that means when rv is very large your uh, voltmeter will get give true reading thus 
uh, in order to meter a two potential difference between two points or emf resistance of the voltmeter should be very very high okay so uh, this was the concept okay